Yes, we are getting our first look at a new barrier designed to keep Twin Cities bus drivers safe. An auto safety glass door like this one is going to be added to 20 Metro Transit buses over the next two months as part of a pilot program. There have already been nearly 150 safety problems between drivers and passengers this year. New at 6, WCCO's Kate Raddatz shows us how the barriers work and whether drivers think they'll be enough. The purpose of this is to provide a physical separation so that our operators are able to maintain focus. This is the first bus that will have a new interior door made up of metal and automotive glass shielding the Metro Transit operator. It locks and unlocks only from the driver's side, and there is an automatic window to allow the operator to talk to passengers. 20 buses will soon have the barriers made by vapor for testing. When we came out to the garages this fall, uh, we heard from operators is that this is something that they wanted to explore. According to Metro Transit, there have been 147 safety incidents against bus drivers this year. The majority were disorderly conduct and threats. It's very stressful, yes. ATU Local 1005's incoming president says operator safety has been a concern for years and was a key issue in recent contract negotiations with Metro Transit. Physical, uh, verbal, uh, people have been spit on, people have been punched. Ryan Timlin, who has been driving buses for 11 years, says the barrier is a good move. Is it enough? I think time will tell on that. It's a step forward. It's something that's needed. Almost 70 million passengers used Metro Transit this year. Funk said they are committed to operator safety and also hope passengers follow their expectations. We want to provide the right atmosphere so that they're able to focus on the task at hand uh, without worrying about something uh, that could be happening behind them. Each barrier costs between $2,000 and $5,000. There will be roughly a six-month evaluation process involving a committee that will be formed in early 2018. And, and Kay, what happens in that evaluation? What are they looking for? Well, it's more than just to see if these operators feel safer from passengers. They also want to look at, will the doors respond to, say, an accident? They'll test their maintenance and see what those costs are. There are already other big cities like New York and Chicago that recently installed something similar, so it's likely they'll use data from those cities as well. All right. Kate, thanks. Mm -hmm.